Hello everyone and welcome to How Do I? On today's episode we're going to be looking at the Move Tool and the Transformation Tool within Photoshop. So let's get started. Here we've got a nice image from Pexel which we will be using in today's example. I've got a link in the description for those of you that want to practice with this file too. The Move Tool lets us move our image around the canvas as well as transforming its size, rotation and shape. To do this very simply move your mouse to the top left of the screen and click on the icon on this tool menu that looks like a cross with a couple of arrows on it. So I'm going to click on that and now we should be able to move this image around the screen. Ah, this pop-up is telling us we can't move the layer or can't move the image because it is locked. We can fix this really simply. So firstly we're just going to click OK and on the right hand side, this is just on my setup, we're going to come over here to layers and as you can see, this is our layer and it's currently locked. So all I'm going to do is click and drag and move this down to the create a new layer button. It looks like a little page with its corner kind of pulled up. So I'm going to release the mouse over it. And as you can see, it's made an exact copy of the image, but this time it doesn't have a little lock. Now I'm going to go ahead and hide this background layer. I can do that just by clicking on this little eye because we don't really want to see that. I'm going to select this layer to make sure we can do stuff to it. We have our show transformation controls turned on. So I'm going to turn this off just so you can see. So yep, now we can move our image quite happily around the page without any errors, which is awesome. However, I'm going to turn these back on and show you a couple of extra little things. We can now see it's got these strange little squares at the corners and it's got the strange one in the middle. What this will allow us to do is transform the shape, size and rotation of our image. So I can still move it around and I can still move it around normally by not clicking anywhere near these. So you see how they, they change, the mouse changes. So when you've got the black mouse, you can happily move it around. Try not to click in the center because that will move the center point. But that's fine, if you've got it, click it drag it and try to get it roughly into the center and it'll snap. You can see that kind of jump to it, jump to the center, which is it'll be happy there. So we're going to test out what some of these buttons do. So I'm going to go to this top one here, click and drag. And this will allow me to stretch and shrink the image up and down. If I try to go left and right, you can see here that doesn't really let me. So this top one and this bottom one will only allow me to shrink it left, uh, sorry, up and down. And at the same time, if we go to the left and right ones, they do exactly the same. They don't allow me to do up and down this time. They only allow me to do left and right. However, if I wanted to do that at the same time, I just click on one of the corner ones. This totally lets me do it. So you can get some really trippy stuff going here. So I'm going to roughly do that. I'm going to bring it to the center to kind of about that size. Now you might have noticed that the mouse icon changes ever so slightly when I hover over these little boxes and go a little bit further. When it does this, this will allow us to rotate the image. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there we go. I can actually rotate my image. I can rotate it all the way around, clockwise and anti-clockwise. You also might have noticed that's rotating around this middle point. So if I was to move this middle point by clicking on it and dragging over here and then rotate, you can see it's actually changed what we call the anchor point, the point of rotation. So it's moving or rotating around that point, which is, can be really handy. So let's say you're happy with the changes on the, that you've made and you want to confirm it. Up the top here, we've got other options. We'll get into those in just a tick. But if we're happy with the changes, we can click on this little ticks box or hit the enter key and that will confirm all the changes that we have made. Or if we're unhappy with that and we kind of want to reset things, if we click the circle button with the line through it or the escape key, that will revert it back to the way it was. So I'm just going to click on that and that reverts our image. However, I still want to transform this image. So I'm going to hit the keyboard shortcut, which is then control T. And you can see up here, our information bar has changed. Now, all I'm going to do is I want the width to be 50 and the height to be 50. And I'm happy with that. So I'm going to OK it. 
Now there's a couple of other fun things that you can do when you have the move tool selected and this is you can make copies of this image. So I've selected this image. I'm just going to move it down here so you can see. And by holding the Alt key down, you see how our mouse changes. Might need to, um, yeah, changes. So it's now two mice. So I'm going to click, still holding the Alt key down, and move. And you can see we now have two images that are exactly the same. We're, we are essentially copying this layer, this image. I'm going to drag that, and I'm just going to put it here. And then I'm going to let go of Alt and the mouse. It doesn't matter what order you do it in, just at the same time. But as you can see, we've now made a duplicate. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that twice more. There we go. So I've now got four of the same image. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this one just down here. Now I have snapping on, which is going to make this a lot easier. But what you can do, if you hold down shift, and now you try to move, as before, I can't move the image in certain directions. So what I mean by that is if I hold down shift and click left and then start moving it left or right, allow me to move it left and right at the exact same angle pitch whatever you want to call it uh, horizontal line there we go uh, as it was before it won't allow me to move it up or down so I can only go left and right so if I'm gonna let go of that and then again if I want to move it directly up vertically I'm gonna hold down shift again and it allow me to move it up and down but not left and right so I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I want it to be exactly above there so I'm gonna let go and I'm going to do the same with this one. Now I have snapping on. So what that means is it'll just let me to snap to those objects. And what I was aiming for was kind of like a repeat image. So the only issue with this is, as we can see with this image here, the light, sorry, it is lighter at the top than it is at the bottom. So all I'm going to do, learning or knowing how to rotate the image, I'm going to come up here and just rotate the image. Now if you, again, hold down shift, you can see it does it at certain angles. I believe it's 15, 15 degree angles each time. And I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna come up here and click the tick button and I'm gonna repeat it for this image here. I'm gonna make sure, there we go, I'm happy with that. Holding down shift again. Yes, it is 15, you can see that on the mouse. And I'm going to, okay that. And this time I'm just gonna hit enter on the keyboard. So there you have it. That's the basics of the move tool. We can move our images around we can hit Control T to rotate them and change their size and scale. We can copy them and we can make them move on a horizontal or vertical plane. I hope you found this helpful and if you have, just leave me a comment down at the bottom. It will really mean a lot to me. And if you've got any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll definitely reply to them. This has been How Do I on Photoshop Basics. If you'd like to see more of this, click here to subscribe.